everyone. Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Diana, and I'm going to talk to you about breastfeeding today. I've gotten a few questions just from people on Instagram and TikTok about breastfeeding, so I wanted to make this video to tell y'all what I've been doing. So the only credentials that I have is that I am a second time mom. My first daughter, I breastfed her until she was 18 months old and my second daughter is now three weeks old and I've been breastfeeding her since she came out. I can share a few things that have helped me along the way. However, if you're having any issues, like real issues breastfeeding, please consult a lactation consultant or your doctor, your midwife, whoever. Not, not this video. So don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, or, and leave me down a comment if you have any more questions or if you just wanna talk, I'm always here. So the first tip that I have for breastfeeding is just to make sure that you're eating. So it's honestly one of the most annoying questions that my husband Kwame asks me all the time is, have I eaten? Did you eat? You have to eat. Because when you are breastfeeding, your whole body is supplying another body. So you are burning more calories than you did when you were pregnant. So you have to make sure you're eating more. Like you have to eat more than what you're eating when you were pregnant. If you're somebody who likes to skip meals, can't skip meals anymore, you have to eat. And couple along with that is drinking. You have to stay hydrated. So TikTok has a bunch of like cool hydration drinks that you can try out. I personally am not that person, I just drink water and I've sprinkled a little bit of sea salt in my water to help with the absorption of the water. Um, let me show you what Kwame just got me. He just got me a new water bottle. He got this one from Target. And if you are somebody who struggles with drinking water, invest in a new cup. It might help you want to drink it. And I add ice to mine and I just, I drink this all day long, all night long because I get really thirsty while I'm breastfeeding. So it's really not an issue for me to drink water, but when you're breastfeeding, you wanna make sure you're eating and you wanna make sure you're drinking enough water. The next tip is for everyone who does not like pumping. So I really tried this time around to pump or to want to pump. Like I have three different breast pumps and I still am not enjoying the pumping process. I don't like the sound of the machine. I don't like it hooked up to things, even like the portable ones. I just don't like them. So, I still want to be, you know, responsible and have a stash of milk for if I leave the house or so I can get some extra sleep and Kwame can feed our baby. I collect my milk in a haka. So if you have not heard about hakas or have seen one, I can open this up. It's really cool. It's technically a hand pump, but you don't hand express at all. I'll show you. So it's literally just this suction and you suction it on and your milk just falls out. So while your baby is feeding on one side, you can put the haka on the other side and it'll just collect all of your letdown. And collecting your letdown is so beneficial and it's so helpful. Like I've created a nice size stash and I don't even collect my letdown every single day. Like I collect my letdown maybe twice in a day, a couple times a week type of thing. It's not a a regimen or a schedule that I have to follow. It's just whenever I feel comfortable enough to go get the haka and store my milk, it's so laid back. So if you're somebody who does not like the pumping schedule or any of those things to get your milk going, collect your letdown in the haka. And I'll show you how I collect my letdown and store it and all those things. So if you want to stay to the end of the video, I'll show you how I do that. But this really helps a lot to keep with your stash if you don't want to pump. My next tip is to relax. Being a mom the second time around, like this is my second baby, so I realize like when everyone's like, oh, sleep when the baby sleeps, blah, blah, blah. Like, mm, you can sleep or you can do a bunch of different things. But really, like now that I have a toddler and a baby, I feel like there's so much to do. Whenever my newborn needs to nurse, it's really my time to just sit down and chill. Like I can't do anything while I'm nursing her. I just have to sit down. So if you are out there and you want to just do, 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 and because there's so many things that you have to do around the house or for work or whatever, when it's time to nurse your baby, just sit down and relax. Don't do anything else. Maybe scroll on TikTok or, you know, like this video, but don't do anything else. Just try to relax as much as you can because we all know that there's just so much to do. And we, as moms, we have to take our breaks. So nursing can be that break. So my next tip is to remember to take your vitamins. 
So like I said, your body is supplying a whole nother being. So all of your nutrients, all of your everything is going to, into your breast milk and onto your baby. So you have to make sure that you're continuing to put that nutrients back into your body with your vitamins. I see a holistic doctor and they've given me a whole list of vitamins and supplements and all these things that I have to take. And it's honestly like a lot <laughs> but I feel rejuvenated I don't feel like I'm tired or just like at a lack because I'm making sure that I'm taking my vitamins while I'm still nursing so my daughter my newborn she takes vitamins she takes a vitamin D I'm not going to tell you to give your baby a vitamin D but your pediatrician will probably tell you to give your newborn a vitamin D um I'll show you the one that I use I use um mommy mommy's bliss vitamin d i really like the ingredients in here and it's very easy you just put a drop on your breast and then the baby nurses so they get their vitamin d once a day so you make sure that you are taking your vitamins your supplements and that your baby is taking their vitamins and their supplements so going off of that um in the very beginning right after you give birth and you birth your placenta and you get those lovely belly massages that was sarcasm by the way those massages do not feel good but afterwards it's time for you to nurse your baby and you get these intense cramps so there it helps your uterus contract and that's what your cramping is is your uterus contracting however it hurts like it does not feel good it feels like you're getting your contractions all over again for real so something that helped me out was using a cramp bark um tincture thing i got this from sprouts but the first time i got mine from amazon so amazon does sell them um but what it does is it just i don't know whatever herbal supplement this is it really just you put it under your tongue one drop and it takes your cramps away like that but you also can take like advil for it um just pain relief things that you would need for your cramps right after you give birth um so another tip if you have a heavy letdown or a heavy flow of milk is to pace your baby while they're nursing. So my letdown for whatever reason this time around is very very heavy. Like I have a lot of milk and it comes out really fast for my newborn and she kind of like chokes on it sometimes. She'll If she doesn't burp she ends up like spitting up because it's just so much milk. And I can hear her while she's drinking, like gulping it down. So what I do is just pace her so I'll, she's drinking, she's latched, everything, I'll remove her, I'll unlatch her so that she can have some time to like swallow and everything. So if you also have that issue, try to pace your baby. My midwife also suggested that I try to give her a infant probiotic. Um, I've given it to her probably about three days now I haven't really seen too much of a difference so I really just feel like it's just the amount of milk that she's getting and how fast she's getting it so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to um, make sure that I continue to pace her if there's anybody out there that has that issue try to pace your baby so that they can get all the nutrients from your milk okay and my last tip is to find a comfy spot to nurse in because sometimes you could be in a nursing session for like 40 minutes like you could be there for a while and it's just because your baby either wants the cuddles or it needs extra milk or whatever I don't know I really don't know what's going on but sometimes it takes a long time so you want to have stuff around your back like pillows or extra covers around your back or sitting in a nice rocking chair to help out with that because you do not want to be in a uncomfortable situation for a long time because you don't want to move because your baby has finally latched, all those things. So before you do anything, just before you start nursing, find yourself a comfortable spot to be in so that you can sit there for as long as your baby needs and you personally won't get too uncomfortable. So I hope that these tips help somebody out there. I hope that they were informative to anybody. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe, guys. We have so much going on in the new year and I'm so excited to have you all here. And thank y'all so much. I'll see you in our next video. Peace. Okay, so as promised, I do want to show you how I store my letdown. That's my letdown from my past nursing session. Um, if it's not enough, like I like to pour 
two ounces and store two ounces of milk in the freezer. Um, if it's not enough, I will put it in a bottle like this and put it in the refrigerator so that when I collect my letdown again, I can combine the two. However, it was enough. I just wanted to show y'all what it is. So I get one of these storage bags. They're the Medela storage bags, but there's a bunch of different ones. And I'll take the milk from the fridge or the freshly expressed milk and pour it into the bag very carefully because you don't want to spill any milk. And then what I do is I'll put it on the edge of the counter so I can get all the milk out. I mean, all the air out because I lay them down flat in the freezer so I have more room in the freezer. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just trying to press all the air out. And then I write the date. I don't write the time because I don't think it's too necessary right now, but I don't write the time. I just write the date and how much is in there. So this was two ounces of milk and... That's how I store it.